today on Be Something Wonderful, how to be infinite and unlimited. This is Mastering Your Reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email from one of you that said, Tom, I'm devastated. My SP just got engaged. I just found this out. And, and I, I know I shouldn't even be talking about this or even feeling this way, but this is an outcome that totally threw me for a loop. And now I, I just don't know where to go from here. I was wondering if you could talk about that. Well, guys, we're going to talk about this today and more. So I, this is good. This segues nicely into the last few videos that we've already had. So this is a nice piece that we're going to tackle right now. Here's what I want to say, and I want to say it loud and clear. I've said it before, but never like I'm going to talk about it today. That no matter what, no outcome is final. No outcome is fact. There are no facts. Everything's just pure positive energy, always in a state of becoming. Hear this, all these outcomes are actually still outcoming. <laughs> They're still in the process of becoming, right? But as soon as you, as soon as that something happens and you consider that final, you consider that a fact, you consider that hard reality, now you've collapsed the wave, right? You've fossilized this outcome, but you can reverse it immediately. By, by, by moving above it, right? Move into that neutral zone where, okay, that's, I know that it's just in a state of becoming. I know nothing is final. And then keep your, keep your energy, keep your focus, keep your attention on your wish fulfilled as if it's already done. That's it, guys. Remember, it's about intending, allowing, receiving, right? It's never about trying or control or force. You mentioned that you, that you, that you felt that you needed to do something, right? Either send him a, send him a text or call him to, to somehow stop the engagement, right? None of that. That's all trying to manipulate and control the 3D world. It can't be done. It's got to be done within. It's about keeping your intention, holding that intention, holding that image, that imaginary scene, right, in your imagination, and then about allowing and receiving 3D. Let it unfold, because remember, 3D is within you. The universe is within you. Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're assuming is what you're creating, okay? So observe, at, remember, you observe as the outcome, right? Observe it as the outcome. When you observe, you are the outcome. So if you're observing it from looking at something that's like an engagement and that's not what you want, then you're observing it as something unwanted. Do you hear this? Observe 3D reality from your standpoint, from your wish fulfilled, from your desire fulfilled, from fulfillment, right? Versus viewing outcomes as outside of you, as something happening beyond your control, right? It, remember, everything happens within you. Right? There's no reason to wrestle rea reality to the ground. There's no reason to try to do something, to try to control it or manipulate it. Right? It's all done from within. It's not about uh, controlling reality. Remember, you are reality. It's all coming from you or trying to get rid of things you don't want. It's about allowing your desires and intentions to unfold from a state of fulfillment. Let's unpack this a little bit more. So, remember, you're not here in the 3D experience, in the world of duality, in this world of relativity, relativity to get your joy, your happiness, your clarity, and your abundance, your fun from the 3D world. It's not you. The 3D world is within you. You're gonna, your joy, your abundance, your clarity, that way you were born with that. You're here to bring it to the 3D world, to create things from that. All outcomes are within you. You need not control anything, ever, right? You are here to express and experience more and more of who you already are. Hear this. You don't have to, so you're not here to get anything, not even really to manifest anything, just to reveal more of who you are and what you already have. Hear this. And you can only experience it to the extent you allow yourself to be it. It's about allowing yourself to be it, allowing yourself to reveal it. It's not about wanting to have more or to get more. Rather, it's desiring to be more. 
That's what you're here, desiring to reveal more of who you are. Be more of that God particle, right? That, that individualized God that you are, right? Let's unpack this a little bit more. And so, and I think I've told this story before, or it's in my book on Be Something Wonderful, but before I started Be Something Wonderful, I was down in South America. I had a, it was great. I was, help, I was helping my business partner manage some institutes, and it was such a great experience. But after many years there, as I, as I set up in, in, in the classroom that was above my office, right, where, we, where I used to teach from, I, I started scribbling and I, and, and I was just feeling like I, I really need something more. I was writing this stuff and I said, I really need to do something more. I need to do something wonderful. And then it, I, it occurred to me, no, it's not about doing, it's not about needing, it's about being, being something more, right? being something wonderful. That's how Be Something Wonderful was started, from that idea that we're here more to express more of who we are. We're already wonderful, so why not just be it and express it, right? You are an individualized aspect or viewpoint of God or infinity, all that is, or infinite intelligence, right? You are that individualized aspect of God. God became an infinite number of viewpoints to experience the world of relativity. You're here to revel in that. Remember, it's based on the holographic principle that every part contains the whole. So every part contains a whole of reality, of you, of God, of everything. What's true of God is true of you, based on the holographic principle, right? What, what God can do, you can do. What God is, you are. Because, because we're all, the universe is a hologram, the 3D world is a hologram, you're a hologram, your DNA is a hologram, it's all a hologram. And every, no matter how much you cut a hologram up, every single piece contains the whole. You contain the whole of God, right? You're, you're, uh, you're omniscient, you're omnipotent, and you're omnipresent. You are truly all-knowing, all-powerful, and everywhere at the same time. You are all that. That's big. So let's unpack this a little bit more. Therefore, you're not limited to time and space in the linear 3D world. No way, right? And whenever you look at something and get that kind of reaction, that inner reaction, like your SP getting engaged, I know, I get it. I, I, I get that you, the circumstance feels big, but you're not limited to time and space. You're not limited to to fixed outcomes. You're not limited to the 3D world. You're not in the 3D world, in the 3D world in, or, or the universe. The 3D world, rather, the 3D world in the universe is within you. Hear this. It's all within you. It's within your consciousness. You project it, right? You stream it. You are the creator in the created, right? You are the creator in the created. You are both cause and effect. We talked about that yesterday, right? You have within you everything that was, is, or will ever be, and everything that can be ever known, manifested, desired, imagined, or experienced, all within you. Hear this. Otherwise, you couldn't imagine it. You couldn't desire it. You couldn't even think of it unless it already existed on some plane or some level of existence, right? Everything that ever was, is, or ever be, everything that can be ever known, manifested, desired, imagined, experiences, you are all that. You are all that is, right? Hear this, right? You could never desire, imagine, or think of something that didn't already exist on some plane of reality. And if it exists on some plane of reality, and you are reality, you are a hologram of reality, all reality is within you, then that's already within you. I know we've talked about this, but never like we're talking about it today, right? Therefore, there are not fixed, predetermined outcomes in the 3D world. Only reality in a constant state of becoming. Hear this. No outcomes are final. No facts are final. There are no facts. It's only what you believe. It's only what you think, what you assume, right? What you claim to be real, and that becomes reality. It's always in a state of becoming. So there's never ever reason to regret. There's never even reason to have anxiety because you create it all. You get to determine it. it that, that's the whole idea to live in that beautiful realm of uncertainty where infinite possibilities are at your fingertips. 
If it was certain, if all the if you knew exactly how it how it would come to you or how it would unfold, then you're limiting yourself. You're trying to limit infinity. You cannot limit the unlimited, right? All things are possible because you're not here to become something. You're not. You are not. Uh, here, so, so you are not here to become something you are not, okay? So all things are possible because you are here to become something you're not, or you're not here to become something you're not, or manifest something you don't have. Hear this. This is a big point. So all things are possible. Why are all things possible? Because you are not here to become something you are not, or manifest something you don't have. That's impossible. You cannot become something that you are not already. You cannot have something that you don't have already because it's all within you. But rather, you are here to express and experience more of who you already are and what you already have. Hear this big point. Because if you're sitting from the assumption that I can't have something or, or, or I can't be something, then, then that assumption will be what your life is. That assumption will be your reality. You can't have, you can't be something you're not already being. You can't have something you're not already having and know that's within you. Hear this in that dimensionally larger reality, right? So you couldn't be it or have it unless it was already within you. This is big. That's why trying and efforting to make something happen doesn't work. That's why it doesn't work, right? When you try to make something happen, when you try to force something, that's implying that you don't have it. That's implying that you are not that already. And that's what you create, right? So you go from unlimited to limited or lackful. You, you collapse the wave into this narrow limitation that you don't have it. And, and, and you create the lack in your life. Cre lack doesn't exist unless you create it. Hear this, it's an illusion that you create. That's the implication, right? That you go from unlimited to limited or lackful. Even though in the true reality, in, 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 in ultimate reality, you're still unlimited. It's only the illusion you're creating. Let's unpack this a little bit more. Remember, I want to really get this to you because whether, you're, whether your SP is engaged right now, whatever's going on in the 3D world, it doesn't matter. A happy ending for you is guaranteed. So why not just enjoy the movie? We've talked about this before. It, it's like going to a movie that you know it's gonna be a happy ending, but you can still enjoy the movie even though you know the players, you know it all. You know it's not even real, but you can enjoy it as if it's real. Hear this, when you insist on certain outcomes or look for absolute certainty with people, events, and circumstances, hear this, this is a huge. You narrow infinity and create resistance in the flow. That's what creates negative experiences. Hear this, when you try to collapse the wave, right? Looking for certainty, right? You're, you're, you're now narrowing infinity. Now infinity can, you're, you're, you're now don't have unlimited possibilities. You're no longer in the field of unlimited possibilities. You've just collapsed the wave, right? Set your intention with the knowing, right? That fulfillment, joy, peace, fun, Clarity, abundance is already yours within. Set your intention with that because it is. That's who you are. This isn't platitudes. This isn't spiritual woo-woo. This is true, right? And you are just projecting on the screen of time and space. It's all within you. In, in, in your 3D experience, you get to project that abundance. You get to project that joy, that peace, that clarity on the screen of of time and space. Wow, that is powerful. That is how to be infinite and unlimited. That is how to master your reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Share the channel with your friends and family and others. That's how we grow. And, um, Follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Visit our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime. I always love to hear from you. You know that. At info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.